real estate agents. One rookie. Let's just do our best. One pro. I'm waiting for Don Matthews. Find out what it takes to get to the top and stay there in The Agents. Rookie Katie Aby has been trying to break into the high-end luxury market after having many other successful careers. I was a journalist writing for magazines and interviewing heads of state. I've been a television producer and television host in Hong Kong. I have worked in marketing and communications. I've helped open restaurants. I've spent years in the luxury hotel business in Hong Kong. Hello, Katie Aby. Hawaii, Washington, D.C., Chicago. Oh, hi, can I call you back? I'm just in a meeting. Thank you. Now, Katie is working on her first multi-million dollar real estate deal. She's the co-listing agent on a mansion in Rosedale, home to Toronto's richest families. Its professional kitchen, 1,200 bottle wine cellar, and hideaway walls make it perfect for entertaining. Current list price, $5,950,000. I met the sellers when I was working on a major retail project at Holt Renfrew. Getting this done for me personally will let me pay for the garden. <laughs> I think we should go back one more because after somebody's had a margarita or two, <laughs> they're gonna end up in the planter. People think that you make a killing overnight. It's not the case at all. I'm a single mother with two kids, and I think it's going to be just a little bit of a relief to have a big one under my belt. Katie's in the midst of negotiations with an agent who represents a potential buyer for the Rosedale Mansion. It's the only offer in the three weeks Katie's been marketing the house. Up to now, both sides have been nearly $1 million apart. Exactly how much? Both the wealthy buyer and seller insist remains confidential. So are you sure that's the final sign back number? If that's all they're gonna come up, you know, they're gonna say, I think this time around, look, we're not gonna get the lawyers involved again at $600 an hour, whatever it is. Let's just do our best. Oops, I've got my, okay. Well, I've got my client on the other line. They haven't come up as far as we've gone down. And it's, you know, in a way it's all a game. Okay, perfect. They're signing back at a price that doesn't indicate the willingness to compromise. So when you get an offer back like that, you think, you know, why did we bother? Pro agent Leslie Dennis is one of the city's top producers. She specializes in million dollar homes. I sell residential real estate in Toronto and have been for 17 years. I live with my two children, Three dogs. And um, housekeeper. I have so many things happening all at once. If it's not a new listing, and then I have to run on an offer, then my son calls from school, he's fallen off the monkey bars. Yeah, I have to check what my morning, I can't even remember right now. I appear calm. All right, so you know, maybe we'll, we'll, we'll get together tomorrow at some point. I, I present as calm if something at one, and I have to show a couple houses in the West End. I don't know. It's just, you know, a very busy, fun. Sometimes it's upside down, but really it's all in order. It's all good. Yeah. Today, Leslie is meeting with a real estate developer. Hi, may I see with Peter Brown, please? Staying at the top means always looking for new business. I think because the market's becoming a little more difficult, now I have to sort of change my direction a little bit. You know, I just sort of feel like I have to work smarter and dig up some business, and, you know, this isn't something that I would do necessarily on an everyday basis. I am meeting with Peter. He's a builder slash developer, and he's, he called me or emailed me several months ago and said we should do some business together and make each other some money. So we figured if he's willing to give me some time, then we should really have a serious tete-a-tete, -tete and, uh, focus on what he's looking for. Hi, Peter, good morning. Oh, we're just on, heading on Eglinton from, we're just leaving my house. Um, because there's so much traffic, we'll probably be there in three hours. Do I know where I'm going? I'm a realtor with no sense of direction. Well, I just got a call and there's a sign back. She's going to get it over to me in the next hour or so. Hello, 
Katie Aby. Hello, Katie Aby. You're out front now? Okay, you've got the offer? Okay, I'll come right in. I mean, everybody has the right to offer what they want to offer, but there is an assumption when you go in that there's going to be some push and pull. I, I don't have my hopes up. Leslie arrives for her meeting with developer Peter Brown, not a second behind schedule. How are you? Good, good, good. Come on in. Have a seat. So. All right, so for starters, you... Only want investment I, property. Okay. So you're not going to... But res, residential. Yeah, residential. Be more specific. You want to build... Two things. Yeah. Low, low price. Low, low price High and return. great location. That's all. It's that simple. So okay. if I could buy three properties in and a row and tear them down and build eight townhouses. Now, I know everybody's looking for the same thing, but that's why uh, we have you. There's that's the why we have a superstar. I just got a package. Somebody wants to sell their Somebody, site. Somebody, like another agent? Yeah, another agent just <laughs> sent it to me. Oh, I know where, at uh, York Mills and Bayview. I sent it to you. Oh, you sent it to oh me. My what an unbelievable agent. Well, you're great. How many are you talking to that you can't even remember? Know, can't. See, well, that's get... why I'm so happy I'm here, because now you'll have my face with that. That's why we're meeting. I think today's appointment with Peter went really, really well. It'll be a challenge, and it won't take up all my time, but, you know, it'll be an ongoing project. Katie has picked up the new offer from the potential buyer's agent. Well, I got the offer. And uh, I'm going to take it over to the owner now. I'm going to call him and tell him I've got it. We were just discussing um, the details of it. And we'll see what happens, but I'm not feeling optimistic. And I don't think they're going to go up much higher. Like maybe a little, but not a lot. This deal may or may not go through. It's a, they're all still a long way apart. I may have to figure out another way to pay for this garden. Over the weekend, Katie's dead deal on the Rosedale Mansion sprung back to life. We thought there was no hope that this offer would come through because we were so far apart. It seemed absolutely impossible, but we somehow made it work. Katie and the buyer's agent worked with their clients to try and find some middle ground on the price. Right now, it's conditional upon inspection. Hi, Bob. Hi. 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 Nice to meet you. Come on in. Brand new house. As you can see, it's got a beautiful backyard. 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 They have the right to say they don't want it if the inspector comes in and says there's something wrong with the house. This may be different than what you're used to looking at. Have a look at this. Uh, OK, yeah. So. Hydronic system, all right. Concrete advanced boilers. Right. Two of them that hit the underground snow melting system. OK. So, if you um, need anything, give me a call. OK. OK. Get started. Thank you. Thank you. Being a pro agent means constantly looking for new clients. Leslie wants to snag a celebrity. Tonight we're at 228 Queens Key West, and we're waiting for Don Matthews, the head coach of the Toronto Argonauts. He just arrived into town a couple weeks ago, and he's an old friend. So I looked him up, and he needs a place to live. 228 Queens Key West is a two-bedroom, fully furnished condo overlooking downtown Toronto. Lease price, $3,000 per month. Rentals are really realtors nightmare, but our brokers always say, you know, don't be greedy, it's good to be working, and a rental could turn into a purchase. Here he comes. The condo may be a good one, but Coach Matthews is already working with another agent. It's about time you showed up. I have a place. <laughs> Thanks. There's your hat. Thank you very much. What are we doing here? We're going to go look at the apartment. How was the other one? It was very nice. It was excellent. But, but not as it, nice as this one. Leslie. Nice to meet you. So let's go. Yeah, so how'd it go? We are ready to rock and roll. Katie's Rosedale Mansion has passed the inspection, and after working the deal for just one month, it will now close. And though she shared the listing with another agent, the deal is a big one for her. Exactly how big? Her very private client insists she not disclose. I thought it would be more of a screaming eureka moment, and actually, it's just a huge relief. I'm really happy, but what I'm most happy about is that I can breathe again. 
And Katie can feed her family. Cheers. Katie can feed her dog. Katie can entertain friends. And she can pay for her garden. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Good day. Uh -huh. Getting better all the time. Whoops. Just a second here. I gotta find the stairwell. Leslie hopes to find new clients by taking on Toronto Argonauts coach Don Matthews, but first she has to find the key to the condo. You gotta find a stairwell because... That's how we were it's, very... It's hidden in the stairwell. I swear, yeah, but it's well, not... Why wouldn't I think of that? Yeah. Real estate agents hide keys everywhere. In this case, the key was supposed to be in the stairwell, got there, and there was no lockbox. Okay, should we follow you or should we stay here? No, you stay where you are. What unit is it? 2703. I thought it was 30 something. We're on 20 something. Is Leslie always this organized? I'm organized. I think we're in 230. Leslie can't find the key to the stairwell because she has taken Coach Matthews to the wrong building. Yeah, we're in the wrong building, guys. You haven't seen me in 20 years. Doesn't it feel great? Organization and success walk hand in hand. I'm calm. I'm not even angry. We're well, not smiling and it's, it's, I'm happy, happy, you're happy. You're not happy. as happy as you usually are. <laughs> Why would we be upset that we're in the wrong building? I mean, who's that, upset? I know. You Why know would what? we be? There's a book. You know what it's called? It says, Don't get upset. Don't sweat the small stuff. Very nice book. Glad we're not in a rush. This elevator took forever. I can't believe we went to the wrong building. Tonight, I'm taking Don Matthews, head coach for the Toronto Argonauts, to see an apartment. So far, the appointment isn't going well. I took him to the wrong building. I'm a real estate agent with no sense of direction. 27.03. Wow, this is really nice so far. The coach isn't too happy with me. Guys, 27.03 is here. OK. Where'd she go? Door's open. Hello? Hello? Yeah. Then while I'm looking for the key, Ian opens the apartment door. That means the current tenant is at home. He's not supposed to be. Surprise, surprise. Hi there. Hi. I'm Leslie Dennis. Hi. Forrester Real Estate. You were expecting us, right? You mind if we come in? Sure. It's a bit of a mess. <laughs> well, that'll have that lived-in feeling, right? Whoops. So, Dawn, picture it empty because oh, sorry, it'll be, uh, maybe it's better if I leave the lights off. Oh, my goodness. This place is a disaster. The view is exquisite. It's a beautiful view. I don't want that to you. I don't want this place. Okay. Okay. It's not too small, you think? Old. The world? Old? I just looked at one, okay. you gotta see. Okay. Please. Well, so that's, I'm happy for you. I know. Great. So, you know, then you know. Yeah. All right, so let's carry on. All right, we, we've seen it, we've done it. Thank you. They're gonna leave. Thank you. Uh, so now you know. Absolutely, we do know. Well, yeah. thank you for looking and taking Absolutely. the time. Thank you. Thank you. Your time. Thank you. Oh, no. This nice is hat. I got a hat out of the deal. I got to get Absolutely. you a Forest Hill hat. Uh, that'd be nice, but I'm not sure I'd wear it. Anyway. <laughs> All right, you guys go. This was a fun time. That was stress. That was like, <sighs> you know. Good seeing you, Don. Thank you. Talk to you soon. This one was, uh, I feel like I wasted his time. He was hungry. I was trying to joke around, and he wasn't going for my jokes. So for me, that was stressful, but uh, it's part of the job. And anyway, long day. So today we're going to meet a new client um, who has a lovely large apartment down on the waterfront. Judith and her family want to sell their 3,000 square foot penthouse that features a spacious formal living room with floor to ceiling windows and a view from the 43rd floor. Current list price, $1,495,000. Maintenance fees, $2,160 per month. It's been 
on the market for, I think, six months with two separate agents. And there have been um, virtually no viewings. So what I'm going to do today is to show Judith the comparable properties in the building and get her to revisit the price, which is uh, real to speak for. Are you crazy? Are you crazy with this price? It's priced too high at a million four hundred ninety-five thousand. And secondly, it hasn't been renovated for a long time, so she needs to have a comparison. Judith. Yes. Hi. Hi, Leah. How are you, sweetheart? My daughter wants a house. She wants a backyard. It's a great building, but um, we need a backyard. A place to ride bikes. And yes, and have a dog, maybe. And have a dog, yeah. You know, I think it's important that you have an understanding of what's sold and what hasn't sold. And it's important when we're pricing it so that it makes sense to you. Because otherwise, you just we're all just pulling numbers out of the air. So here's what's on the market at the moment. I've got a unit on 43. We're on 46. So it's the same size, same position, three floors down. Um, it's a million two ninety nine, and they say it's been completely redone. It also has a south view, and a south view over the lake is always worth more. Okay. People want to look over the water. This is unit on the 30th floor, so it's slightly lower, but it's still relatively high. And it also has a wood-burning fireplace, which is very unusual okay. in the building, so that's a major feature. And it's priced at $1,195,000. On the 28th floor, there's a unit for $1,450,000. So I'm gonna call, um, and we'll plan a time that we can um, get together. Thank with... you so much. That was great. Okay, I'll talk okay. to you soon. Take care. Okay. <laughs> All right, take care. Bye, Judy. So the tricky part now is telling her that I think a better value for that or a better price on it is going to be certainly under a million and actually probably closer to 800,000. And uh, that's down from a million five. That's a huge drop. Uh, it's shocking. I think she's going to need a drink after that. I think I'm going to need a drink after that, too. It's been six weeks since pro agent Leslie had her meeting with developer Peter Brown. She's been emailing him listings, but hasn't yet found the right property for him to invest in. You know, he doesn't want to pay retail. And certainly when, you know, the word on the street is that we're on a, in a decline price-wise, you know, the quick email response is, I'm waiting for the bottom. If I had a crystal ball, I would know when the market has hit bottom and that we should start getting more serious, um, but I don't. These deals take a long time, so it's not like residential where you show 10 houses and you get lucky and they buy the 11th. Um, this is a much more complicated, longer process. Being a single parent, I feel an incredible amount of pressure because you, you know, you worry about the next paycheck. Okay, I'm not ordering in tonight, so what do you want? Macaroni? You know what? I've got this new how to boil water life beyond takeout, so we're gonna cook tonight. Thanks for the birthday present. The market is changing and we're in a recession, I'm cooking dinner tonight and it's macaroni and cheese. Are you actually cooking that? What's the big deal? Adam, I'm boiling water. I can do that. Sid, <laughs> does mom cook? No. Told you. But listen, a sign of a good real estate market is when I order in. If I'm cooking, it means things have really slowed down. So Rookie agent Katie has decided not to take on Judith's penthouse as a listing. One thing you learn pretty quickly in this business is listening to your gut. And in this case, my gut is telling me that something just doesn't smell right here. Fortunately, with this house in Rosedale about to close, I've got some breathing room now and I can afford to walk away. I had a conversation with Judith on the telephone about price that condo is probably worth closer to 800,000. And she was shocked and shortly afterwards called and said, look, can you, let's just try it at a million three 
ish and see what happens. But I told her that if she put it on at that price, it would start smelling like a dead fish. And frankly, with the recession now, 800,000 may be optimistic. Nothing is going anywhere right now. So tonight, we're having three birthdays. It was my birthday two nights ago. It's Sam's birthday tomorrow. And it's our friend Whitney's birthday a week ago. So we're going to celebrate them all together. And instead of going out to a restaurant in the spirit of the recession, we're going to stay home and watch chick flicks and eat popcorn and drink champagne. So whose is this one? That's mine. Oh, then I know it's going to be good. <laughs> Delicious. Oh, oh, it's great. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be fun. This is way more fun than going out somewhere and having to behave well. Girls. <laughs> oh, this is so, so cute. cute. Hey, birthday girls. Cute. Mama? Can I cuddle up Here. with you? Cheers, guys. Cheers. Cheers. To great times ahead. Boy, if this is a recession, we're gonna be fine. <laughs> we're gonna be just fine. <laughs> For more, go to wnetwork.com forward slash the agents.